I owe the ODI really the start uh, to my career and uh, what shaped me in many ways during my career. I started off uh, as an ODI fellow, as you say, in Botswana uh, just after graduating. This is 1981. Uh, for two years, I worked in the Botswana public service as an economist, and that wouldn't have been possible without the ODI fellowship. So I've always been very close to ODI, very grateful to them because I learned a lot about development and about how institutions function from that fellowship time. And I've stayed in very close touch uh, with uh, ODI throughout uh, this period and served on their advisory council. We're coming up to the 60th anniversary of the institution, uh, ODI, uh, next year. And I really wanted to put something back into um, ODI in terms of helping them shape the strategy for the next uh, five, six years, and really actually become even more effective as an international think tank. Um, I think it's making great, uh, great strides with the, under its new chief executive, but it can be even better still. And I think the job of the board is really to help the chief executive and her leadership team become even better uh, and more, more important on the international development stage than even it is today. That's why I'm attracted by this. And this time you're not the chief executive, this time you're not in day-to-day -day control, you're the chair, which is a governance side of it. How difficult will that be considering that you are so used to leading? Well, this is a very good question. I think this is the, the, the issue that all chief executives face when they move from leading, managing, running organisations to actually a, a more of an advisory, supervisory uh, type role. And you have to restrain yourself uh, from trying to get too deeply involved already. Uh, you know, although I haven't yet quite taken up the chairmanship, I'll do so in a few months time in October, but already what's happened is uh, some people have written into me, chief executives of other organizations wanting a discussion about uh, how they might work with ODI. And I have had to say to them, I'm no longer the chief executive of anything, I'm a chair. And so it's really up to the chief executive of ODI, Sara Pantigliano, to work with them directly on that. That's been refreshing for me in a way <laughs> to be able to delegate like that. Um, but it's a, it's a skill that one has to learn. Um, I guess that EBRD was in a way a good preparation for that because I was both chair of the board and the chief executive, the president of the organization. So it was a dual role, if you like, executive chairman. And I had to uh, play both roles which is not always easy. Um, but I learned, therefore, on some things, I have to let go. And I have to be an advisor, a helper, a facilitator, sometimes challenging as well, uh, constructively, though, uh, to help the chief executive and her team succeed. But it's a skill I think it's very important to learn and uh, move on to in this stage of life, in this stage of my career.